Happy New Year, everybody. It's January 2019. The weather is still cool, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to share with you some of the things that you can do to your pool during the cooler weather so that you don't have to do it during swim season and lose valuable swim time. So what do you say we dive right in? Alrighty, first things first. Generally speaking, the off season or when it's not swim season, is the best time to do any kind of maintenance or repairs that would require you to drain your pool for any period of time. So remember that. Anything that would probably require you to drain your pool for any extended period of time, even if it's just a day, the best time to do that is during the off season. Mainly because it's cooler, and also because people are not swimming in it and so you don't have any downtime and people waiting to go swimming and all that kind of stuff. But really it's because it's cooler. When you drain a pool <clears throat> and if it's warm, the plaster or the surface, whether it's Pebble Tech or plaster, can dry out very quickly and then it can crack. And those cracks can cause problems because it can create a leak between that surface, Pebble Tech or plaster, and the underlayment of your pool, which is usually shot creek, and it has rebar in it, which is like iron or metal bars to reinforce the concrete. Well, that water, if it seeps in there through those little cracks that happen when the plaster dries out at, because of being drained in the heat, then what happens is when you refill your pool, that water gets into that area and it starts to create rust. And that rust will grow up through your pool bottom or sides and create horrible looking rust stains. They can be unsafe because you got rust in your pool and um, it can be very damaging to your pool and then you have to resurface that area. Anyway, so again, as a general rule, anything that requires you to drain your pool, the best time to do that is during the off season when it's cooler. Here's another general rule. When the temperature is above 85 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't know what that is in Celsius, but if it's 85 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, you don't want to be draining your pool, especially if it is a plaster pool. I've had people tell me, and pool repair guys that probably know more than me, that if it's a Pebble Tech pool, it's probably okay to drain it during the summer months. I personally don't like that idea anyway, just because, again, you get a little micro crack in, the, in that surface and then you're pretty much screwed. So anyway, as a good rule, when it's 85 degrees out or hotter, don't drain your pool. So, here is a short list of the things you can be doing to your pool during the off season. Okay, the first thing you can do to your pool during the off season is drain and refill your pool. Once in a while, usually every three to five years, you need to change your water. Now, if you, if you haven't done so already, for more details on that, please watch my video called Changing Your Pool Water, Why and When. It's on my YouTube channel. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you just watch that. It'll give you some greater details. But as a general rule, you usually want to change out your water because it needs to be done every once in a while, usually every three to five years. But the ultimate litmus test is to check your cyanuric acid levels. And if they are high, that's a good indicator that you're probably going to need to change out your water. So during the off season is a great time to change your water out so you get fresh water in there. Now, if you do it yourself, make sure you put your proper startup chemicals back in so you get your pH, your alkalinity, your stabilizer, and your chlorine levels where they need to be. If you have somebody do it for you, make sure that they include the startup chemicals. And if you do have somebody do it for you, make sure that they are licensed, insured, and bonded, and come recommended by somebody who has had a good experience with them. So again, first thing, you can change out your water. Whether you have a plaster pool or a pebble deck, sorry, pebble tag pool. Another thing that you can do to your pool during the off season is do any repairs on the edges. If you notice here, this is a rolled edged pebble, pebble tech pool or the cool decking. In this case, this cool decking is in pretty good shape or even the surface of your pool, which means any of the, the area that is covered by water. So obviously if you have something that's under the water that you need to repair, you're gonna to need to do that and drain the pool. But if you notice like right here, there's some lines there. Those are just quick fixes that they put in there to seal the rolled edge. A lot of rolled edges, they get air underneath them 
and they just break so they haven't held up very good and that's why most companies don't do rolled edge pools anymore um, but again one of the reasons I tell people that it's a good time to do that kind of stuff during the off season when it's cooler because it's cooler and then the product that they put on there doesn't dry super fast and allows it to really cure correctly and more slowly so that you get a better seal so again if you have things like a rebar leak and you need to patch the bottom of a plaster pool even though it doesn't look that good it's a quick fix and prevents you from having to spend the money on re-plastering your entire pool this is a good time to do those types of repairs so again just to reiterate the off season is a great time to do any repairs or seals on cracks on your pool edging cool decking or surface itself this next thing that you can do to your pool during the off season only pertains to those of you who have a plaster pool all right so i'm going to flip this camera around so you can see it one of the things that you can do during the off season to your plaster pool is acid wash it now occasionally usually every two to three years your plaster surface of the pool will start to get discolored or stained usually due to the dissolved solids in the pool or any minerals in the pool and you can get that kind of stuff and it can kind of stain your surface and make it look a little dingy so acid washing it allows them to to clean that surface they have to drain it but if you do have it acid washed make sure that you hire a reputable company that is licensed insured and bonded to do it and make sure that they provide four things number one they include draining the pool number two they include refilling the pool number three they also include any startup chemicals to get your pool chemistry back up to snuff that would include chlorine stabilizer or cyanuric acid and any acid or bicarbonate of soda or soda ash in order to balance your ph and alkalinity and remember i said there's four the fourth thing and i'll show you what i mean has to do with mineral deposits now i want you to look down on the bottom of this pool if you look right there in the shadow of my leg you'll see those dots those dots look like dirt they are not those are actually mineral deposits okay if you've ever gone to a cave you see the things hanging down from the top of the cave those are called stalactites the ones that come from the bottom and come up those are stalagmites well that's what's growing on the bottom of this pool in arizona we have extremely hard water because of the minerals and that tends to leave deposits that like to grow on plaster pools and attach themselves those things can be very sharp and rough and they can actually cut feet and cut skin so when they acid wash the pool make sure that they include belt sanding or sanding those off so that you have a smooth surface again and it creates it more safe all right so people always ask me well what about a pebble tech pool i have people say that you know you can back you can acid wash a pebble tech pool it's unnecessary for two reasons the first reason is because pebble tech is not the same color as a plaster pool it just doesn't show stains and so you don't really need to do that for cosmetic reasons all right also i have yet to see in any of my pools in arizona any of my pebble tech pools i have yet to see any mineral deposits that end up in the bottom or the sides of the pool under the surface of the water so you don't really need to do that now the second reason is more important because a lot of the pebbles in a pebble tech pool are dyed depending on the company that makes them and when you put a high concentration of acid like you do when you have to acid wash a pool it can dissolve that dye and cause it to bleed all over and stain and make an absolute mess and then you have a cosmetic mess so for those two reasons alone you do not need to acid wash a pebble tech pool but if it's a plaster pool you're going to want to do that cool thing if you have a plaster pool and you acid wash it every two to three years you've already taken uh, you've taken out the equation of having to drain and refill and change out your water every three to five years because you're doing that every time you acid wash your pool another thing that you can do to your pool during the off season when it's cooler is any type of equipment repair or replacement or refurbishing or upgrading so in your the area where all your pool equipment is that could include anything from um, changing filters 
repairing leaks in any plumbing or even re-plumbing the, uh, the equipment. Uh, if the pipes are old, it could include replacing a motor or a pump or changing out a filter. Let's say you have a sand filter and you're tired of it and you want to go to a cartridge filter, this is a good time to do that. Uh, also, when it comes to filters, it's a good time to either clean the cartridges if you have a cartridge filter. It's also a good time to clean the grids on your DE filter or replace them if you happen to have a DE filter or replace the sand in your sand filter if you happen to have a sand filter. With all of those things that I just mentioned, those are what I call major repairs and you don't wanna to try to take those on yourself. If you do, do them at your own risk. I'm not even gonna recommend that you do that. What I recommend is you hire a licensed, insured, and bonded pool repair or service person or company to do that work for you. And I would highly suggest you contact friends who have pools and ask them if they had good experiences with somebody and they can refer you to somebody because again, um, the cheapest is not always the best. The most expensive is not always the best. The best is usually somebody with a good reputation. So ask your friends for referrals because that probably goes a long way. So those are some other things that you can do to your pool during the off season. So that is my short list of the things you can be doing to your pool during the off season when the weather is cooler. Remember, as a general rule, if the temperature is above 85 degrees Fahrenheit, you do not want to be draining your pool because you can risk damage to the surface of that pool. So, thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any friends who have their own pool and are looking to save some money by servicing it themselves, please feel free to share this video and this channel with them and encourage them to subscribe as well. If you have any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below this video, or you can always email me directly, and it should show up right here at the bottom of the screen, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. I thank you again for watching. That's it for today. And as always, remember, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids around water. Until next time.